Terror in Manchester. We are learning more this noon about yesterday's suicide bombing at an Ariana Grande concert in England. There are reports that one of those killed was just eight years old. The deadly attack claimed the lives of 22 people and injured dozens more, many of whom are reportedly under the age of 16. Good afternoon. I'm Rahel Solomon. And I'm Jim Donovan. We now know who carried out the attack. CBS News has confirmed the suspected suicide bomber is 23-year-old Salman Abedi, who is known to authorities. Another person is also under arrest. ISIS has claimed responsibility for the attack. Correspondent Terry Okita is tracking the latest developments. She joins us live from Manchester. Terry, we know that this has been a developing story, but what have you learned? What can you tell us? This was a pop concert with a lot of young people in attendance. Officials say of the dozens injured, 12 children were under the age of 16. Oh my God. The concert was just ending and Ariana Grande fans were starting to leave when the bomb went off. The mostly young crowd began to panic and started running from Manchester Arena. As soon as I heard the um well, bang, I just decided to run. I just didn't know what to do. All of a sudden, you heard a massive bang from the corner of the arena and um, loads of people just running in different directions. Among the dead, 18-year-old Georgina Callender and 8-year-old Safi Russos. Police say the bomber set off explosives at an exit outside the arena. Witnesses say metal nuts and bolts covered the ground. Police raided apartments in Manchester Tuesday as they investigated the attack. Britain's Prime Minister Theresa May expressed her horror. This attack stands out for its appalling, sickening cowardice, deliberately targeting innocent, defenseless children and young people. In the West Bank, President Trump called the perpetrators evil losers. I will call them from now on losers because that's what they are. They're losers. Ariana Grande, who was not hurt in the blast, tweeted that she was, quote, broken, and Manchester United players held a moment of silence for the victims. Along with that Manchester United moment of silence, Buckingham Palace and the Queen will hold a moment of silence in London, and the city of Manchester will hold a vigil tonight in the town square. Reporting live from Manchester, I'm Terry Okita. Now back to you. All right, Terry, thank you. Well, Eyewitness News has learned that the company that manages the Manchester Arena is headquartered here in Conshohocken. The company, SMG, released this statement a short time ago. It reads in part, on Monday evening at approximately 10.30 p.m., an incident occurred in a public space outside of Manchester Arena, U.K., as attendees were exiting the Ariana Grande concert. Arena management continues to assist law enforcement officials in their investigation. Our thoughts and prayers go out to the victims and their families of this tragic incident. Well, some of the music world's biggest stars were quick to respond to the explosion, offering their thoughts for the victims and their families. Taylor Swift wrote, my thoughts, prayers, and tears for all those affected by the Manchester tragedy tonight. I'm sending all my love. Katy Perry tweeted, broken hearted for the families tonight, broken hearted for Ari, broken hearted for the state of this world. Bruno Mars said, no words can describe how I feel about what happened in Manchester. I don't want to believe that the world we live in could be so cruel. He added, God bless the family and friends affected by this nightmare. And Justin Timberlake wrote, my thoughts and prayers are with those affected by this horrific act in Manchester. We need to do better. We need to love one another. And in the wake of the Manchester attack, security is tightening at various locations across the United States. Heavily armed police now patrol New York's Times Square and other locations frequented by tourists and locals. Additional security is also in place for tonight's game in Cleveland for Game 4 of the NBA Eastern Conference Finals. Authorities say people should go about their lives but remain vigilant. And stay with us for continuing coverage of the terror in Manchester. We will have the latest on Eyewitness News at 5 and 6. And Scott Pally, he will be anchoring the CBS Evening News live from Manchester. England. That's tonight at 630.